Hello and welcome to Science Monitor, a show that brings to you the most significant news from the world of science, technology, innovation, research, discoveries and much more. I am Ashwarya Kapoor with you and here are this week's top stories. Kilogram gets a new definition. The last amongst the units of measurement becomes absolutely correct and error-free. Shere Kashmir University of Agricultural Sciences and Technology opens its first fish hospital under the Aquatic Animal Health Management Division at Rangil in Central Kashmir. Scientists at Instem Bengaluru develop a new skin gel to protect farmers from pesticide toxicity. And we visit the world's leading research center on camel, the National Research Center on Camel in Bikaner, Rajasthan. Farmers around the world use pesticides to protect their fields and crops from plant diseases. While spraying these pesticides, the farmers often come in direct contact with the chemicals in them. Pesticides are made of harmful toxic chemicals which have high skin penetration capacity and can affect the functioning of different organs. Last year, about 1,000 farmers from the Vidharb region in Mumbai were hospitalized due to pesticide toxicity. With an aim to find a solution and protection against the exposure to high toxins, researchers at the Institute for Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine in Bengaluru have made a novel polyoxime gel. This gel can be applied on the skin to block the penetration of toxic chemicals. Here is a report. Agriculture plays a vital role in the Indian economy. Over 70% of the rural households depend on agriculture. Farmers spend a great amount of time in the fields for the proper harvest of crops. To maintain healthy plants and to increase their yield, farmers use pesticides. Pesticides are made from chemicals to protect plants against weeds, insects and diseases. These pesticides are to be used with caution and with provided guidelines. If these pesticides are improperly used, then the farmers are exposed to the chemicals in them. When these chemicals are absorbed in the skin or inhaled, the molecules mix with the blood and travels across the body. The penetration of pesticide molecules within our body can have a severe impact on human health. To find a solution for this, a team of scientists from the Institute of STEM Cell Science and Regenerative Medicine or INSTEM in Bangalore have developed a polyoxime gel that can deactivate the effect of pesticide molecules on the skin. The results of the study were published in the journal Science Advances. The research is supported by Department of Biotechnology under the Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. We have done like a two series of experiments. One is biochemical assays, another was functional assays. So, because as I mentioned, uh, these molecules, they go and inhibit the acetylcholine esterase enzyme. So what we have done, in, we tested in animals, when you expose them through uh, skin, this pesticide, they go and deactivate uh, acetylcholine esterase enzyme in the blood, as well as in every part of the organ. So then after exposing them, we collected the blood and also organs to measure how much amount of active enzyme is still present. So then when we directly expose them without having this gel, we could see a completely drop of the enzyme activity quantitatively. If the toxins present in the pesticides come in contact with human skin or are inhaled, it can lead to serious health complications like neurological disorders, suffocation, respiratory failure and even paralysis. The team at INSTEM Bangaluru have developed a gel using chitosan, a biomaterial found in the shells of lobsters, crabs and shrimps. Through this gel, pesticide gets detoxified even before it reaches the skin surface. The researchers have successfully tested a cream made from this gel on rat models. Farmers can use this cream in all seasons. It also works under UV radiation of sun. Spraying pesticides is an essential activity done by farmers throughout the year and its health impacts have been severe. Hence, this new development will help protect every farmer 
from pesticide induced toxicity and health issues